good morning god bless you thank you for watching our videos happy sunday to you thank you for liking our videos thank you for joining us in our life worship prayer and the prophetic this morning you are amazing god bless you thank you if you are new here welcome my name is adekum we bring to you gospel content every day by the power of the trinity please feel free to stay with us subscribe to our channel like our videos and we pray as you are joining us your life will never be the same again in the name of jesus father we thank you for this beautiful day that you have made what you have done in our lives shall be permanent in the name of jesus lord we want to look into your word speak to us touch us change us in jesus name we have prayed amen brethren be careful not to run away from your helpers be careful not to run away from people god sent to your life be careful not to despise those god has sent to you to help you because god is in heaven if god wants to favor you he brings people your way he will use them to help you but be careful not to run away sometimes people are found off like okay once i receive the help there is nothing anymore no don't do it like that there was a powerful story in the bible you know the story of a guy and sarah and um, abraham in genesis chapter 16 let's abraham was married to sarah and Sarah did not have a child, but Sarah had a servant. So Sarah went and advised her husband to lie with the housemaid so that they can have a child. So, so eventually, her guy had a child for Abraham. Verse 4. Okay, and he went in into a guy and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarah said unto Abraham, My wrong be upon me. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judged between me and thee. But Abraham said unto Sarah, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarah dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way of shore. And he said, Agai, Sarah's maid, whence comest thou? And whither will thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarah. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress and submit thyself unto her hands. What am I saying? Even though we know that the process that Sarah went through to be telling her husband to lie with her maid was wrong. But then don't forget that Sarah was still like a boss to a guy. Helpers can come in form of a friend. They can be to you in form of a boss. They can be to you in form of a pastor. People that God has used for you. Technically, Sarah was a guy's boss. What she did was wrong but in one way or the other sarah has been helpful to a guy he, she was helpful to her for the fact that she had a child let's not dwell so much on, on the way they have the child but in one way or the other she had the child and she she began to despise her boss she began to despise whom god has sent to her a lot of people forget who has helped them when they arrived, oh my God, la ka ta ta ta. May you not forget those God has sent to your life. May you not forget your prophet. May you not forget your pastor. When you are being blessed from somebody like a pastor, they won't at a point in their life they will find they will feel oh this pastor has done something wrong. They will leave that pastor. But the way God works is that He makes them to still come back. I've seen example. I've seen example because if you run away from your destiny helper, sometimes something will now happen to the person that will make the person to come back. This is what happened to a guy. <laughs> the angel of the Lord located him and he ordered her to go back to her boss. So that is the way God works. Let's, let's not run away from people that God has used for us. You know, there is still more. There is still more. You know, let, let's, always, let's not always feel, oh, because we have achieved it. Let's not always feel because we have gotten it. No, that's not the way it works. In the book of Ocha chapter 12, verse 13, the Bible says, And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. He was preserved by a prophet. You know, God, the person that God has used for you, there is still more for you to gain. Please, let's, let's not be too fast to despise God, who God has used for us. That you know you have actually been blessed. That you know you have actually gained. Oh my God, some people, they even despise their parents. Their parents, they give back to them, take care of them, and they become somebody in life. At, at a point in their life, they will feel, oh, my parents is no more helpful. Some people in, in some country, they will say their parents is now a wish and a wizard. Oh my God, that is so bad. You know, if God loves you, he will make you to, he will do something. He will find you and make you go back. So 
my advice, action point, if you have despised somebody God has used for you, realize now, before God himself locates you, realize and go back. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, try to uh, make a solid relationship. Try to continue the relationship with the person. Because the more your destiny paths are lifted, the more you are also being lifted. So I made that relationship. I made that relationship. And I pray the Lord God Almighty will help you. He will give you the grace to always amend that relationship. He will give you the grace not to run away from people that God has assigned to your life in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want to say thank you for watching. Please do like this video. Encourage somebody. Bless somebody by liking it. And I pray as you are doing so, the Lord lift you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. I really love you so much. If you are watching me, I want to say, Jesus, I love you. Um, would you like to say this prayer after time? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name, you have prayed. Amen. If you say that prayer, generally, congratulations. And I born again, Christian. I want to continue to love the Lord, continue to follow Him, continue to do His will, and it shall be well with you. You know what? I love you so much, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.